Hi everyone, this is Libby Buck, the Ecological Research Technician for Nantucket Conservation Foundation. Since the summer is finally here and everyone is hitting the beach, we'd like to showcase our protected shorebird species that nest on the beach. This guide will provide identification of each species and warning signs each bird might display if you're too close to their nest or chicks. Join me to find out how you can help share the shore with these special birds. The famous piping plover is a state and federally threatened shorebird that nests along the northeast coast, but especially love our Nantucket shores. The piping plovers are a small sandy grayish bird with white underparts and yellowish orange legs. In the breeding season, they have an orange bill with a black tip, a black collar, and a black line across their forehead. Their nest isn't your typical bird nest. They just make a small depression in the sand called a scrape, which they may decorate with shells. Piping plovers will lay up to four eggs and will remain protective until the chicks are ready to fly. As you can see, their eggs and chicks are camouflaged with the sand and could easily be harmed. When you're near a nest or chicks, the piping plover will make an alarm call like this one. And then fake a broken wing. By doing this, they hope that their predator will follow them because they seem hurt and will hopefully leave their chicks and eggs alone. If you experience this, please watch your step and slowly walk away until the bird seems to calm down. Then you'll know that you're out of danger and out of their territory. Terns also like to nest along the northeast coast and return every year to nest on Nantucket. Least terns are the smallest of the terns, being only a little bit bigger than an American robin. Least terns have a black cap with a white triangle forehead and a yellow bill with a black tip. They are light gray with a white underside and a black edge along their wing. Their call typically sounds like this. Whereas the common terns are bigger and gray overall and have a black cap with an orange bill with a black tip and orange legs. Their call typically sounds like this. Terns love to nest in a colony and are known to nest in very large numbers. They will lay up to three eggs in their nest and they work with their whole colony to defend against predators. Anything goes for them. They will dive bomb at your head, mob, peck, and defecate any intruders that may enter. If you experience it, it's best to watch your step and also slowly walk away from the colony until they calm down. Did you know that Nantucket, especially Nantucket Conservation Foundation's property, CO2, is home to one of the highest breeding populations of American oyster catchers in the state? American oyster catchers are a very charismatic and striking shorebird, especially with their bright orangey red bill. Their backs and wings are brown with white underparts, and then they also have a black head with a yellow eye that has a red eye ring. In flight, you want to look for their white wing bars, and they have a white tail base. The major threats to these birds, much like the other nesting shorebirds, are habitat loss, disturbance, and predation. These birds will lay three eggs in a large sand scrape or one in the cobble, as shown here. Their defensive methods are to sound an alarm call, much like this one. and run away before the predator can find their nest or chicks. They also don't like competition and often spend their day defending their territory from other breeding oyster catchers. If you were to hear their alarm call, you should know that you are in their territory and like the advice before, watch your step and walk away until the birds settle down. Since we have a very high breeding population of American oyster catchers on Nantucket, the Nantucket Conservation Foundation has been partnered with the American Oyster Catcher Working Group since 2005. This is a collaboration of over 40 organizations, agencies, and research institutions that are banding and reciting oyster catchers to learn about their movement and dispersal. These color band projects range from most Atlantic and the Gulf Coast states from Massachusetts to Texas. Color bands contain a unique field readable code with a color combination specific to the region of where the individual is banded. Individuals can be identified and tracked in the field with the binoculars or a spotting scope. Here's where you can help. 
If you see an American oyster catcher with bands like the ones in the photos, you should report them to the working group's website. You will then be given the information of where your bird has traveled, banded, and the family lineage. Being a long-term study, the banding and reciting information has determined that these birds can live up to 20 years, and their range keeps expanding. Some of our Nantucket birds have been reported as seen as far as Ecuador and Honduras. Here's how you can help share the shore with our protected birds. If you see the shorebird fencing while visiting the beach, please pay attention to the signs and stay out of it. Also, respect any road closures and understand that some may only be temporary until the chicks are ready to fly. If you bring your dog to a beach where they are allowed, please keep them on a leash. Dogs unfortunately can't read the bird signs and won't know how to keep out of the fencing. If you do experience any of the defensive displays as I mentioned previously, please do your best of watching your step as you leave their territory. But if you do experience those behaviors and you do not see any bird fencing, please contact us if you're on one of our properties. You may have just stumbled across a new nesting site that needs to be protected. The shorebirds are constantly trying out new areas because their habitat just keeps disappearing. Just remember, the less disturbance the birds experience during the breeding season, the quicker they will nest and fledge their chicks and move on. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this bird's eye view of our protected shorebirds. Please help support conservation and research on Nantucket. And thanks again from the Nantucket Conservation Foundation Science and Stewardship staff. For more information, please visit our website, nantucketconservation.org.